Hi, this is Soccer STL, and I'm here with the Executive Director of Missouri Youth Soccer, Nick Bouchel. And we're, uh, we're going to give you an update on what's going on with the U.S. soccer player development efforts, right? Right. So. Uh, why not, uh, why, you know, you're the one pe folks want to hear from. You're the one who's implementing these efforts within the state of Missouri, Nick. What, uh, but there has been some noise about uh, the National Youth Council going back to U.S. soccer to a, to talk more further about what's going on. But where right. are we at? We, I understand you're well into the implementation phase now. Well, and, and it, it really... Parts of it, it does not change at all. There's the the calendar year programming, uh, as dictated by U.S. Youth Soccer, uh, is still going to occur on August 1st. Um, that you know basically includes the national championship series, the President's Cup series, uh, MRL Midwest Regional League, and the Olympic Developmental Program, which has always been based on calendar year. Those changes still are implemented. You know they they still go into effect August 1st. Uh, what I think the the statement from USYS and US Club and, and these other youth organizations, what it does is address that there was uh, very little guidance initially given on how to implement and, and best practices and things like that. And I think that that's really what you're seeing now are the youth organizations saying, okay, you had an idea, we need better communication on our end to, to put these into play. Um, you know, as, as far as the recreational programs and things like that, uh, we, U.S. Youth Soccer, everybody wants whatever works in the recreational sector. You know, we want kids to fall in love with soccer. That doesn't come through, you know, calendar year. That doesn't come through rules. That comes through putting kids in a great environment, letting them learn how to play the game, and, and letting that game grow uh, naturally through grassroots effort. So, you know, what, what does happen in, in the recreational, you know, out there in the, in the state, in the communities, they're doing whatever they need to do to make their organizations work. We completely, utterly, 100% uh, reinforce they can keep doing that, you know. Um, on the competitive end, you know, just recognize that you you can these teams can keep playing up. They can do whatever they want, but at the end of the day, uh, you know these are requirements in those uh, national competitions that you know that that is available. And sooner or later, if if a team's playing at a very high level, they are going to run into teams that are playing based on these these calendar year and things like that. So, you know, while. I think it calls great attention to the fact that more communication needs to be given. It doesn't change the fundamentals that we've already talked to with, with all the clubs and organizations in the state. So August 1st is the start date. Right. And for state cup registration purposes, for President's Cup, et cetera, those, the teams will then have to determine whether or not they move to a truly calendar year registration model or if they maintain the existing team Right. It would be, say, an 0102, the, but recognizing that they'll end up playing up, essentially. Up into the 01. In, and, into the 01, gotcha. there'll be six months' worth of kids that are feasibly older than anybody on that team if they choose to do that. And, mm -hmm. you know, that's got to be a team, club, you know, player-coach type discussion that has to go on. Um, you know, we recognize that that the USU soccer is, is doing this, and, and we will conform to that. Um, the, the registration software will conform to that. But at the end of the day, that's a discussion that has to go on at a much lower level to figure out what's best with those players, what's best for that team. Within their club structure then as well. Within their club structure, their team structure, you know, however it works for them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the, the focus for the uh, players moving forward is to recognize that opportunity the changes that are going to occur, changes that happen all the time, and we're uh, we're well down the path of making this happen. Exactly, exactly. Thanks for your time. No worries.